In the figure below, the coordinates of P are given with that angle is equal to alpha and the length of OP is five. Okay, so that length over there is five. The first question says, determine the value of K. Well, what you need to understand is that this little point over here, we can do the following. Imagine this line didn't exist. Okay, and there was no five over there. Then think about this. This length over here, this vertical length would be three because that is um, a y value of three. And then this length over here, um, so for example, if this was, let's say this is negative two, then you would say that this length is negative two. So we could put k over here, okay? So k is over there. And now I'm gonna put everything back. So now we know that this is five. So now we can go and use Pythagoras and we could say five squared is equal to three squared plus k squared. And so that would be 25 is equal to nine plus k squared. And so that means that 16 is equal to k squared. And so k, if you take the square root, we always say plus and minus four. But now k cannot be a positive value because we know that here this k is a negative value because it's a negative x value. So we will say that k is negative four. This question is asking us for tan alpha. Now remember, when they say this is the angle, you, you just forget about that and just pretend that it's over here. Now we're gonna go use tan. So tan is always equal to, if we think about Sokotoa, tan is opposite over adjacent. Some learners would prefer to use y over x. And so whichever method you prefer, you should eventually end up with tan alpha is equal to um, three, oh, we should probably go fill in K here, um, over negative four. Now some learners, they wanna then carry on and they wanna like use shift and all of that stuff. But remember, if you go and use shift now, then what you are determining is the angle alpha, but they didn't ask you for the angle alpha, that's only in this question. Here they are literally just asking you for tan alpha. So you leave it there, that's the answer. So it was negative three, or just to say three over negative four. Okay. Now when you get something like this, uh, just think of your four co-functions. So we know that uh, sin of 90 minus um, alpha is cos. Um, cos 90 minus alpha is sin. Sin of 90 plus alpha is cos. And then cos of 90 plus alpha is a negative sin. Okay, so then we can say that cos of 90 plus alpha is the same as negative sin alpha. And then we can just go work out what sin alpha is because that's this triangle. And so remember, sin is opposite over hypotenuse or some learners prefer to use um, the y over r method. And so whatever you choose, it's going to end up being um, negative and then sin is gonna be three over five. So the answer will be negative three over five. Now here they are asking for alpha. So we can just come back to this and we can say that tan alpha is um, three over negative four. Now you're just gonna use um, reference angles and all of that from general solution. So with general solution, remember we don't put the negative on the calculator. Only some schools in South Africa use the negative on the calculator, but most of the schools, like 99%, don't. Okay, so you're gonna just find your reference angle by saying uh, shift tan of positive three over four. And if you work that out, um, I'm gonna keep three decimals for now. So that's gonna be 36 points. Um, I'm just gonna write down the first three decimals, eight, six, nine. Then we gotta understand that tan is negative in quadrant number two and quadrant number four. But remember with tan, um, well, well, we are in quadrant two, so we're not gonna go work in quadrant four because that's gonna end up giving you a, a, a large value, like 323 or something like that. Um, so we're gonna work in quadrant number two, okay? And so that means that we're gonna say 180 minus 36.869, and that'll be 143.13 degrees.